comedy has evolved since you last wrote for television? I mean, honestly, whole species have evolved. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, guys, let's bring it in. Step right up on three. No reason to do that. First of all, hi, Paul. Hi, Rachel. Hello. Hi. hi. Uh, I've been a big fan of both of you for a long time. <laughs> so it's an honor to talk to you. And congratulations on the show. And first of all, for the audiences here in Brazil, uh, what can they expect from Reboot? Well, they can expect their lives to improve vastly. It, it is that great and powerful a show that even if they are unfulfilled and hungry, this will be a blessing that will reform. That's how good the show is. Unless, I don't know if I'm overselling it. Rachel, what do you think? What can they expect? No, I don't think I don't think that's hyperbole at all. No, that's true. I think that it um, this show is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which is not culturally relevant to Brazilians at all. But I thought I'd bring it up. It is. You know what they can they, from the response from the people that have seen it already. It's it's just funny. It's, I mean, it's, it is also, there's some lovely emotions and wonderful characters, but it's a really great comedy that doesn't make you work too hard. It's not, <laughs> and it's about, it's a comedy about making a comedy. So it's funny in a couple of levels, but it's, you know, people I find now, and I find this when I'm performing in stand-up, people are just really happy to be distracted, to have something light and fun. And can I not watch Handmaid's Tale, please? Can I not watch, you know, Thrones of Thrones of, of, of stabbing and disgusting? Um, so <laughs> to watch, you know, I, my wife was watching the, the dragon thing. Oh, oh. And I walk by and I can see, and I see her, she's like, watch. I said, maybe you don't want to watch it. If you're doing this, it's not for you. They're like, you, you know, that's not a way to watch a show. So uh, you will only be entertained when watching the show. And it's really great. Everybody's really funny. There's just a lot of funny people acting. I will say, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's a hundred percent joke, zero percent uh, hor horrific birth scenes. No birth scenes, and um, you know, uh, the creator, Steve Levitan, not the Lord. Um, <laughs> Steve Steve Levitan created Modern Family, a co-creator, and one of the things that I loved about that is, and that this show has is that there are, there are many moments that are sweet and smart and um, make you care about these characters, but it's always paired with something funny to take it away so it never gets heavy and it never gets um, TV-ish. There's just a lot of funny with moments of, of heart buried nicely inside it. And... The show is called Reboot, obviously. And why do you think, why do you guys think that Hollywood is so obsessed with reboots and revivals nowadays? It's guaranteed money. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot, people, people don't want to get fired. And it's a lot less scary to reboot something that has known IP, that has a built-in audience, than put up something new. All right. That's true. We're and... Bitter, bitter woman. Which shows would you like to see rebooted? We got to come up with an answer for that. I just, it's, it's such a common question. You know what? I'm going to say none. I think there are a lot of people out there who are, who have new ideas, who want to pitch new shows, um, who have new things to say about the world. Let's, let's, let's do new things. I think so. To, to me, I, I always thought reboots and reunions when they bring, let's bring back the cast of your favorite show. To me, the only purpose to do that is that people can look at these actors now that they're older and go, ooh, he doesn't look good. Ooh, she put on a lot of weight. Boy, she had some work done here and here and here. You know, it's so I say let's skip it and make new shows starring Rachel Bloom. Yes, I agree. Or new <laughs> Mad About You revivals. Yeah, that we can do. And I go, boy, he, he did not age well. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's all the time that we had. Unfortunately, it's a little time, but it's okay. I want to thank you again because I adore you both since thank ever. You, Thiago. <laughs> thank you, Thank uh, you. Please come to Brazil if you had the chance, and congratulations on the show. All again. right, if we leave now, 
we could be there. Yeah, if we make all the lights, we could be there in like 15 hours. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, we'll see you there. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tiago.